Leave me alone. Get away. Stay back. I know you. Old phobia. Old fear. Who ask me to hide in a cobwebbed corner. Lurk along low light. Wear the dark dress. Breathe your invisible sickness, stalking our cells in hundreds. Firing a fever like lava scorching as I burst off long stone spikes. A leap into your caustic cauldron. Ian Fox. Countdown 2020, The Good Doctor, December 30th, 2019. Police hauled the good doctor down to the station. Spiced him up with a little justice, Wuhan style, for not being down with the vibe of the nation. They said he was spreading rumors, as written in the translation, warning us about a severe new illness for a while. Just 33 years old, Dr. Lee Wenli Yang done forgot his station. Well, Doc went back to work after his government-paid jailhouse vacation. Looked like a clean slate, despite all his guile and false internet comments about the Chinese nation. Wouldn't he know he went and got himself infected? Soldiers who die at their posts are not often subject to revile. And on February 7th, Doc Lee died at his station. How could we have known here in America? They cried out with vexation. Back in January, CEOs marched out in files, the most to resign in a single month ever in the history of the U.S. nation. What did they know, these CEOs, and how were they so damn collected, so financially educated and intellectually agile? Next stop, the bailout station. And four months later, left behind an infected and neglected nation. Hi, Ros Rosalind Brackenbury. This is called Ancestors. My husband shovels dirt and compost, hefts the spade aloft as his Kentucky grandfather did in a lost century. <clears throat> he hauls wood, carpenters a floor where boards were crumbling, cuts, saws, hammers, makes our foundation firm. These days, these homebound days, I make soup, scrub and scour surfaces, do laundry, hang out clothes, as my mother did in post-war England. As if our ancestors rise in us, sensing the threat of lethargy or gloom, and fill our hands with tools and paring knives, give us useful projects to complete. Make a floor, clean closets, hang out sheets to dry. As if they reach through us, those old ones, used to tasks and hardship living through war, bad harvest, illness no one could cure. As if they see us clearly in our modern age, our phones and screens, our idle hands, our deep anxieties. We find their skills in us, learn through them, to survive, enjoy the day, and know it's all we have. My daughter, an ocean away, raises hens, grows vegetables, plants a tree. We talk on the phone of eggs, seeds, makeshift recipes. Who is it, I wonder, generations back, who speaks through her? Who, inside me, listens and knows so well that voice? Mm. Alan Meese. I wonder what the poor folk are doing tonight. The plague is coming turning out the light. The streets are gray and grim. The world is dim without a friend. The poor folk are hiding tonight. What they're doing is called not right. The owner sicked the cops on them. It's an unwanted lifestyle. It's not a crime, but the rich are giving them prison time. I wonder what the poor folk are doing tonight. I know them well. I've been there before. They're sleeping in the wind without a door, wishing they had just a little bit more. And I wonder what the rich folk are doing tonight, heating the mansion, plenty of light. Greedy and glutty, acting slutty, working for pride and power and stuff, hating the lowly and treating them rough. Well, the poor do not care about the rich. They do not hate that son of a bitch who hates them for having no home. They only wish to be left alone, as they do unto others. The poor are invisible tonight trying not to scare us, hiding from the virus, staying out of sight. 
The poor are wondering, where's the love? That's what they're doing tonight. They know if we all had love, everything would turn out all right. Thank you. Key West Poetry Guild meets again.